But we're about to take a flight to California because literally this is one of my favorite videos to make. The barn find, garage find videos. I've just located a super sick old Ferrari 1984 original owner car. And uh, it's a bit of a special situation. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. This has been a very difficult deal to work, but one of you guys that are watching my videos connected me with someone who is looking to sell this car and uh, it's in moderate condition. It's not poor, it's in moderate. I've seen a hundred pictures of this car, but we're flying out there and we're gonna go check it out. I really, really wanna make this deal. Uh, I've got cash in hand, actually in bag, right here, okay? We're ready to make this deal. So Tony's gonna drop me off. Well, I, you know, I really don't need to drop it off because Jet Suite X is just that building right there. Kinda wanna get my car washed, and uh, since I own a car wash, don't know why my car's never washed, but... Uh, <laughs> Not today. Not today, Not today. apparently. Rosie so, busy. Yeah, exactly. We're always, that's the problem. We're always busy. Always got cars in there and I can never wash my own car because then I'm, I'm putting a customer behind and I can't do that. So I'm going to get in the car. Tony's going to drop me off, get my car washed and then drop this thing back off. So hopefully when I land in LA, I've got someone waiting there to pick me up. So beer went out this morning in the tow truck to meet me there so we can get this car right now on the spot, take it home and uh, really enjoy one of these old classic Ferraris. Guess what? Just what I thought was gonna happen. Man, I, I just, you know, why did I go with my gut feeling? Today's video is brought to you by the Ridge Wallet. The Ridge Wallet is light, sleek, and industrial. Thankfully, it doesn't fold or awkwardly bulge in your back pocket, and it seriously changed my whole pocket situation. I mean, tightened everything up. No more old receipts, no more old hotel room cards, but shh, we're not gonna talk about that just now. We've moved on from the large flip phone type cell phone wallets to the iPhone, so the only thing that we could do, move on to the Ridge Wallet. Not only is the Ridge Wallet sleek and sexy, but it holds up to 12 cards, plus room for cash. Now, even if you don't carry a lot of cash, you can carry a lot of cards. There's over 30 colors and styles that you can choose from, which include carbon fiber and burnt titanium. I really love the wallet because it takes all of the bulge out of all my pockets. And if you don't believe me, go ahead and take everybody else's word for it because they have over 30,000 five-star reviews. The Ridge team is so confident that you'll love it. They'll give you a 45-day free test drive on this bad boy, unlike the Hellcat. With that, what I want you guys to do is I want you to go to ridge.com slash royalty and get 10% off plus free shipping when you use promo code royalty. Again, guys, ridge.com slash royalty. You get 10% off and free shipping. It'll change your life. Anyways, I just got scammed, um, and what a mess. Okay, so I'll, I'll give you the, the premise of the situation. All right, guy send, sends me all this info. I'm a YouTube subscriber. You know, my, my uh, basically my father is an old, senile. He wants to sell his car and sends me some pictures of it. It's a cool car. He's like, I want 150. I'm like, all right, whatever. So I'm like, hey, well, you know, does it run? I think it's worth about 110, 115, right? That gives me a little bit of cash for the engine. So he's like, cool, I think if we get to 120, we can make a deal. So I said, all right, dope. He said, I'm only gonna take cash though. I said, I guess that's fine, no big deal. I drive around every goddamn bank in Vegas to get all this cash, all right? So that was yesterday. Now today, I fly out here, beer, drives the tow truck which is uh thank you beer so we're going to get the car i fly out here two o'clock i said we're going to meet here at 2 30. i get to this place that we meet and he sends me titles and pictures and everything and then boom i get there i call him straight to voice and i'm like mother this guy blocked my ass and i i expressed to him that i was like look man i need you to give me a solid address because i'm like really not going to make this trip all the way out there unless you give me this address. So he gives me an address, which is at a gas station. He says, right by my house. I just don't want, you know, anybody coming to my house at night. I said, bro, listen, you know me, you called me. Well, what are you, what, what are you talking about? So anyways, I get to the gas station, doesn't answer, my phone's blocked, doesn't go through. I call from Beer's phone, hey, what's up? Oh yeah, I just sold that car to a guy Houston in Vegas. And I'm like, I'm Houston from Vegas. So um, what's going on? And he's like, oh man, that's crazy. A guy from Vegas named Houston just bought the car from me. I said, we had a 2.30 appointment, bro. I was gonna be there yesterday and he told me to be there today. So now it's all messed up. So anyways, um, I got scammed. Now I'm in California. 
and uh, I've got all this cash on me, which is kind of feeling like this. I feel like this was a setup because he wanted cash and he wants to rob me, right? So I just feel like somewhere around me, he's uh, someone's looking for me and they're gonna rob me, right? Right, what do you think, Beard? Yeah, it's a pretty good option, right? Yeah, it's pretty good. Like, I mean, if you really think about it, you, you go and you say, look, I'm selling this car really cheap to someone like me, meet me at this gas station, I'll take you to my house, right? And use the YouTube thing as kind of a leverage or like a liaison in between the relationship to make it sound legit, I don't really know why we showed up at two o'clock in the afternoon. If I was trying to rob someone, I'd probably do it at nighttime, make it a little bit more mysterious, right? But anyways, now we are um, carless and I've got a tow truck and my flight doesn't return till late tonight. So we've got four hours to burn. So I'm gonna make the best of the situation and uh, I'm gonna head to Lambo Newport Beach where they have a Ferrari Enzo, I believe on display. I've been wanting to buy a lot Ferrari for a while now and it turns out that uh, they're very hard to get but a Ferrari Enzo just popped up and that's kind of a close second in my mind. Never actually been in a Ferrari Enzo. Never, I mean, I've seen one a couple times, but they're pretty rare cars. So we're about 12 minutes away from Lambo Newport Beach. So let's just make a pop-up a pop up appearance there and see if uh, we can turn this shit ass day into a little bit better day. Obviously, you have the most beautiful Ferrari V12. And you know, it's very rare for me to compliment Ferrari, but you guys you cannot, can't argue with this. I mean, look how accessible everything is. This is legit built like a race car. It's, it's easy to use, it's easy to drive, it's easy to see, it's easy to do everything because the car actually is really dynamically designed for usability, right? The doors, you have a lot of open area. The seats are pretty nice. You got some good controls and then look at this. Notice for all you guys, you young kids out here, there's no radio, there's no Bluetooth, there's not even speakers. Where the speakers go is the window rolly thingies. That to me is pure perfection. It's driving bliss. Now I really want a law Ferrari. I, I, and if they had a law Ferrari, I would love to just, just get one, right? In the mid two millions, I'd probably even pull the trigger now. I've been wanting to get one in the low two millions, but now I'm like starting to like get really, really interested. But then seeing this, this is three million. Now this car is a thousand miles on it. Um, I think that maybe this car is a little bit more than I want to spend on an Enzo. If this was two million, I'd already, I just signed the paperwork already, beer. If I ever get really rich, like really, really, really rich, I'm going to get one of these cars and I'm going to convert it to a six speed manual. And I don't care what anybody says, I'm doing it. Because to modify an Enzo, that's like going against the gods, right? The car gods. But I'm down. I'm super ready to do that. That's that's like that's a Houston project. But let me finish the CCX first and get that Scuba Veyron on the road before I go into another project car. This is the perfect generation. This is a 2003, but in 03 to like, like this is the Veyron and the CCX generation. So it would be like the holy trinity of the pre 2010s, right? Because the holy trinity is the LaFerrari, the P1, and the 918. Now that was obviously 2015. Right, because the LaFerrari came out in 15. The P1 was, uh, well, what year was the P1? I think it was even like an 18 or 19. I don't know, I, I can't remember. So in that generation, right, those are the tech years. And I don't really think that those cars are gonna go up because like the battery cars, the P1, the LaFerrari and the 918, I keep saying those three things, those are gonna get really old and kind of crappy. Whereas the cars like this that have zero technology in them, right? Let alone, I mean, barely traction control and air conditioning this is going to be a car that skyrockets. Now, my wife has been getting really, really mad at me for buying a bunch of junk I haven't used recently. So I'm going to have to probably convince her that buying another 30 year old car, 25 year old supercar is a really, really, really good idea. And uh, we'll straight pipe, not straight pipe it. We'll, we'll, we'll like, like do better. You know, we'll, we'll make all custom exhaust for this. Rift will do a whole thing. We'll get that look at how i mean you know it's okay like you know i'm not trying to hate on them but like you can't really see but those welds are those oem welds are not my things so the only car i really want here is this color right here this is a sick color this uh this car is actually a lamborghini factory spec car so that means that uh lambo themselves spec it. it's pretty cool this car here is probably forty thousand dollars higher than the average 
uh, car that I spec. So it's not really gonna work for me unless they took off an additional $40,000. And right now at the current car market, you can't get a discount on anything. I'm gonna go do more research. I'm gonna go like look into it because if I can get an Enzo, I kind of feel like that might be a, maybe a viable option over the law Ferrari, but I don't really know. I'm really, I, today has been a really stressful day, especially with all the stuff that had just happened. I'm gonna probably sit back, relax, take the day off tomorrow. We'll see what happens next. Hey John, what's up? What's up, man? Can you can you call John to Marion and ask him what the real number is on the Enzo that he has? Okay. 